Welcome to the another part of book shopping cart series. We are creating this project in .NET 7 MVC and this project contains the sum of the modules of e-commerce projects like displaying products, managing shopping cart and displaying user panel with his orders. And it is not the first video of this series. If you haven't seen other videos, you can check out this playlist. If you don't know me, my name is Ravindra and I'm your instructor for this course. So let's move ahead in this lesson. Okay, so let's start. But suddenly I have remembered that we need to add the information of this author inside our model, book model. So let's add this field okay so we will have this author name also here author name and actually you might be thinking that hey why didn't you create another table for author and link that table to this table and we are not going to do that it is going to be a little bit complicated and we do not want that complication here because we are here to learn the shopping cart functionality you can do it on your own if you want to change the design of this database so i'm just going to add this author name here that's it nothing else okay so we have done here we need to add a migration file so let's run this migration type here add migration let's name it add author name to book that's it it is trying to build the project right now so it is gonna take a little bit amount of time that's okay and okay so what we can do right now just let's update okay let's update update the database okay so after this command these changes are going to be reflected in our database Okay, so now what we are going to do in this section, we are going to do some database entries and actually I'm not going to make a backend for these entries where admin can enter the product. You can create it in on your own. I have lots of tutorial in this channel for the CRUD operation related operations. You can follow those tutorials and you can do those backend entries where you are adding the products or we have not a product table we have a book table so where you can enter the book and you can enter the genre book and you can do pretty much more multiple things about the admin section there there you can create a section where admin is seeing all of the order made by customer where he can change the status of those orders okay so that's a pretty much work so we are not going to cover in this series so what i am gonna do i'm just going to enter these products directly inside the database okay so let's open the sql server and I'm hoping that you have installed it. You are not using any command based SQL server. That's what I'm hoping. Okay, so let's open this guy here and let's open this where it is book shopping card mvc yeah this one we need this database 
here you can see we have these multiple tables and these ASP.NET role claims etc etc are created by the Microsoft boilerplate template for, or we can say that identity template so here what we are going to do we are going to enter some genre directly into database so let's add them let's create okay i have gathered some data so we are gonna have these genres so first one will be our adventure okay adventure another one will be science fiction very good next one will be romance and another one will be horror horror okay good and why these changes are not reflected yeah we are fine okay adventures science fiction romance okay so now what we are going to do we are going to add some book detail here so here and here we can see all the information related to book that we have this id which is primary key and this genre id which is a foreign key and link to genre table so because we are using foreign keys here then you cannot enter the genre id which is not present in this table so this table have only one two three four there is not a five here so you cannot enter five here okay you can just enter one two three or four that's why the foreign keys are very useful so that you cannot enter the invalid data so let's type here null okay now we are fine I pressed escape there so we are going to enter these entries right now so let's enter them book name and it is the author name okay and here we are seeing that these changes are not made here I don't know why it is not happened here so the author name should be present here I don't know like it may be my migration command did not work per properly so I'm gonna run that thing again so let's add the price let's add it to 500 just image will be null genre ID will be 1 okay okay so what we are going to do right now i'm gonna open my project here which i have closed here if i check this migration file that what it is saying it's saying that on up it means when we press the when we type the update database command what it is going to do so it is going to do these things here so first of all it is going to add a column for us which is author name table book and is going to change all of these columns here okay so i don't know why it is changing all of these columns i haven't changed anything here okay so Okay, let it be like this. Open the package manager console here and type the update database command. Update database. I don't know why the changes are not reflected to database that time. Okay, we will run this update database command again. 
I hope it will be fine. Okay, so it's saying that it's done. So let's press here and okay, why it is not happening? We have changed the book table here. We have this author name. Fine. Let's close this table and let's refresh it. Let's see. Book columns. Okay, now we have this author name. Fine. We are absolutely fine right now. So let's open this table, click right click here and click on edit 200 rows. Okay. And let's close it for now. Move here and let's add this author name Zach London. Good. Let's type this thing here also. Jack London by Odyssey, sorry, Odyssey by Homer. It was O D Y S S E Y. Let's add price here 300. Image will be null, it will be one. Author will be Homer into the wide. by john cocker okay so i am pausing the recording here and i am entering the days i am entering this record into this table okay so now i have entered all of these record related to genre id1 which is the adventure so all of these books are the adventure book and i don't have the images of any book here accept the this hobbit the hobbit so if you have all the images related to book you can enter their name here also so i have only this image here so let's find its name with file extension so we have the the type of this file is jfif okay so let's enter the name with the extension here so we have this thing here the hobbit and its image name is hobbit h o b b i t hobbit j f i f i guess i don't have any spelling mistake right now h o b b i t hobbit j f i f it is the file extension okay so if you have images like abc dot jpeg you can enter it so if you have all the images you can enter them here i don't have any images right now except this hobbit one so i'm not going to enter them okay so that's it so let's do some more entries so here i have done some entries and these are completed right now so these entries from this okay one to eight one to eight are related to zenro id1 which is adventure then these nine to sixteen these are related to id2 which is science and fiction and from 17 to 22 are related to id3 which is romance and after that all the records are related to genre id4 which is horror okay so the entry part is done right now we have entered all of these records now we are good we have some data now we can load them into the home page okay 
okay that's it for this section we will catch